In this video, we are going to see the summary and analysis of the short story, The Boat, written by Desmond Pesci. Desmond Pesci was a Canadian writer and his period was between 1917 and 1975. He was a Canadian literary critic and his original name is William Cyril Desmond Pesci. He was born on May 1st, 1917 in New Zealand and died on July 4th, 1975 in Canada. He is considered as the pioneer of Canadian literary criticism. In 1955, he was elected to the Royal Society of Canada and in 1972, he won the Lorne Pierce Medal. At the University of New Brunswick, he worked as a professor of English literature, chairman of the Department of English, dean of graduate studies and acting president of the university. He has published 31 short stories. Among 31, 16 short stories are published in a book titled The Picnic and Other Stories in the year 1958. The remaining stories appeared in Canadian journals and magazines. All his stories were translated into German and Swiss. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation broadcasted all his short stories under the title Canadian Short Stories. His other important works are Frederick Philip Grove, Creative Writing in Canada, Ten Canadian Poets, Essays in Canadian Criticism, and The Boat. The Boat is a short story. Now let's see the short story, The Boat. The important characters in this story are Gerald, a nine years old boy, Tom, the hired man, Esther, the aunt, and uncle. Good Hope is the name of the boat. Now let's see the summary of the short story. The story starts with uncle, aunt and Gerald eating lunch, sitting at a dining table. Gerald was a nine years old boy. He pushed back his plate, nearly upsetting his milk glass. So the aunt glared at him and said, watch yourself. And the uncle grunted. The boy didn't care about anything and he spoke to Tom, the hired man. He said, don't forget what you promised to do today. Tom replied, I haven't forgotten. We will go as soon as I am finished. Now the aunt asked, what's that? What are you going to do? Tom replied, make a boat. Then we will sail her in the creek. The uncle asked, a boat? Has he been pestering you? Tom replied, it's no trouble. I like making boats. It was a Sunday in the month of August. It was afternoon time. After finishing their lunch, Tom and Gerald walked across the strip of lawn to barnyard and straw stake and reached machine shed. It was filled with rusty iron, tins of nails, boxes of nuts, pieces of wood, etc. There, Tom started making boat using piece of wood, Gerald watching it silently. The boat took shape under Tom's skillful fingers. He sandpapered the hull all over until it was silky smooth. He made three holes in the middle of the deck and cut three thin masts to fit them. Now the boat was ready. Tom handed the boat to Gerald. Gerald named the boat as Good Hope. They went out walking through farm, hay fields, corn fields, etc. They each selected a long stick to steer the boat along the stream. They reached a narrow winding stream and selected the plank bridge to launch the boat. Gerald knelt on the planks and let the boat slide into the water. One on each side of the creek followed the course of the boat. Boat ran fastly but occasionally it was caught by water weight. They used the stick to move the boat during that situation. On seeing the boat moving very fast in the water of the stream, Gerald was very happy and he imagined the boat as a Spanish gallon, craft of Drake and Long John Silver's pirate ship. The water of the narrow creek reached the broad river and the boat also neared the broad river. It began to move very fast in the river water. It was swept out into the current of the river. It was drawn farther and farther from the shore beyond the reach of their sticks. Now the boy cried and Tom promised him to fetch a boat back. Tom began to wade out into the water. The water was around his waist. 
now the boat was out of reach and at any moment tom must lose his footing in the strong current now the boy shouted come back tom let the boat go tom waded steadily on in water which now almost reached his armpits at last he grasped the boat but his foot had struck a submerged rock it was a horrible moment but somehow tom recovered his balance he reached the shore and handed over the boat to gerald now gerald felt so happy once again they launched the boat from the bridge very carefully they took the boat out of the creek before it could reach the river then they returned home they said nothing to uncle and aunt summer holidays came to an end now gerald was looking forward to the christmas holidays tom promised gerald to make him a sleigh sleigh means it is a vehicle without wheels which is used for traveling on snow and ice pulled by horses after some days tom was very ill and didn't allow gerald to see him when gerald got a chance to get into the room of tom he was scared by tom's flushed cheeks and strangely bright eyes his face had lost its round fullness and was thin and drawn he was suffering from high fever and he took more pills and ate a little that is only liquids one evening in late november it was raining and the boy was sitting at the supper table with his aunt and uncle they talked about tom's health condition and the doctor's advice they planned to take him to the hospital for treatment suddenly the door from upstairs opened and tom ran out of the room tom had a terrifying look and his eyes wild he ran across the kitchen and had disappeared through the back door into the wet darkness uncle aunt and gerald got confused now uncle had jumped from his chair and said delirious it is a fever he followed tom into the night gerald also wanted to go out to search tom but he was not allowed by his aunt after a long time uncle returned alone saying not a trace of him once again uncle went out with lantern searching for tom he asked the support of his neighbors too gerald was very upset and waiting eagerly to see the tom 10 o'clock at night aunt sent gerald up to his bed when he entered his room he noticed the boat he took the boat in his hands hugged it tightly to his chest and dived into the bed it was friday and tom was not found that night too then the next day is saturday the searching was continued the men of the neighborhood had split into two groups one to search the fields and the patches of bushland while the other led by the boy's uncle dragged the river on saturday they didn't find tom anywhere all day saturday gerald wandered about the fields alone with boat the next day was sunday the search was going on on sunday too on sunday gerald drew closer and closer to the river while they were searching he stood on the plank bridge and looked towards the river he saw his uncle and three neighbors dragging the dark water from a row boat suddenly he heard a shout from the boat and saw the seated men spring to their feet they were hauling something from the water now they began to row toward the shore gerald stood on the shore and waited the men did not notice him so intent were they on the object in the bottom of their boat the boat reached the shore the men lifted out the drowned body of tom the striped night shirt still clung to the cold limbs gerald had the timeless sensation of paralyzed helplessness now the uncle shouted at gerald what are you doing here didn't i tell you to stay away from the river get back to the house and stay there the boy ran along the bank of the creek he did not stop until he came to the bridge there he passed and looked back at the small group of men still bending about the body of the hired man prom now he saw the boat in his hand which was made by tom he fingered a little the smooth curves of her hull and felt her three tiny graceful masts then he lifted his arm and threw the good hope with all his strength down the stream towards the dark river then he returned home heavy-heartedly with this the story comes to an end
Till now we have seen the summary of the short story The Boat written by Desmond Pacey. Now let us see the analysis of the short story. In this short story, mood of the family and mood of the nature blend in simple harmony. The story shows that openness, love, creativity and values are not limited to children. Children are potential in all humanity. In this story, Tom was struggling with personal frustrations, but he was able to express a high degree of awareness and love. It shows the positive attitude of Tom. His awareness and love are good qualities. These qualities are not suppressed by his lack of material goods, his sense of insecurity and his ill health. Desmond Pace wrote from deep experience of farm life. The settings are real and meaningful. For example, the description of machine shed produces a typical farm atmosphere. Through this story, Pace says that the world of grown-ups is frequently a world of frustration, selfishness and pain. The nine years old boy, Gerald, is the main character in this story. His attachment towards the hired man, Tom, is unlimited. Love is portrayed as a unifying force here. Till now, in this video, we have seen the summary and analysis of the short story, The Boat, written by Desmond Pacey. Hope you would have understood it very clearly. Thank you for listening.